Hey y'all, it's time for a Squash Mountain 2023 update. I am here at the undisclosed location where I have just spent the day fishing and that was just too much fun. So we have all the fish clean, they're ready to go. I'm gonna take those home, put them in the freezer, cook some, eat them up and they're gonna be great. Uh, but back to the topic at hand, which is Squash Mountain. So I'm here, it has been about a month uh, actually a month exactly. Planted these on May 22nd and now it is June 22nd, 2023. So here's what we have. Over here are Godiva pumpkins. Those are the ones that I grew for the seeds. These are the 20 year old gourd seeds that I had. I planted probably 20 seeds in there and two came up which is about the germination rate that I've been getting at home. Okay, that was the secondary pile. Um, the wood chips, we made the shelf, we planted the seeds, and those are actually the experimental because the one seeds were 20 years old, at least 20 years old. And so I'm actually happy with that germination. I did get five of them to germinate at home. I put them in a wet paper towel in a cup and kept them closed up for a few days. And those, actually five of those germinated. So I planted those in the main garden at home and I will uh, give y'all an update on those eventually. Here is the primary pile. Up here in the middle, we have a volunteer of some kind. It's something that was planted last year. Down here, which is on the bottom right as we're facing it, is something. <laughs> I think those are probably the butternut pumpkin mix, my experimental ones that I'm trying to develop. And yeah, it looks like the squash bugs have arrived. Now, I'm going to squish these even though I know I said that the purpose of the experiment was to plant these and walk away and let whatever happens happen. But if y'all know me at all, you know if I see a squash bug's eggs, I'm going to squash them. Now check out this monstrosity. <laughs> this is actually the nest egg gourd. And I don't know how many plants this is, but they're already blooming, you guys, look. Blooms. Blooms. And yeah, just blooms everywhere. And look. I think this is one plant, y'all. And it's already got little gourds on it. Look at the size of this leaf. They did not get this big last year. I am absolutely amazed. And there's more little gourds forming on there already. That is absolutely unbelievable. By the way, when I got in here looking, this right here, this is all one plant. There's one, st one main stem down there. This over here is another plant. That's about half the thickness, but oh no, this is part of that plant. Yeah, there's one little, <laughs> one smaller plant over here. This is all one plant. And more eggs. Now, last year, we really didn't have any problem with squash bugs on these because the vines are just so incredibly strong and healthy. So overall, the experiment is off to a great start this year. I am really amazed at how big the gourd plants are already. And uh, yeah, so I don't know how long it'll be before we come back up here and check, but so far so good. Now, we debated whether or not to thin these out and I have yet to dig in there and see how many stems there are because I thought there were probably six or eight gourd plants in there and there's one. So let me just take a look here. Okay, let's see. Well, we have a big stem of grass in there that we don't want. 
I see one, two, three. Okay, so there are seven plants in this hill, and ordinarily I would leave through just three or four, but these guys are so big already, I hate to pull any of them out. Um, yeah. So, let's just leave them and see what they do. All right, short but sweet this time around. Um, I'm very happy with the way things are going so far. And it is really nice to garden this way, I'll tell you. Just plant it and walk away from it and then come back later and see what it's doing. That's, uh, you can't really beat it. So once again, I say, you know, get yourself some wood chips if you can. Uh, they are really feeding these plants good and I am extremely happy so far with what they're doing. All right, so that is it from Squash Mountain 2023 and my quirky quarter acre. Thanks for watching and I hope to get you a new update soon.